Welcome back everyone and in this video our goal is to learn the user interface of our world composition tab as well as how to move around, select things, etc. Now before we get to that, a day in real time has passed here and I've just opened up Unreal Engine and I have opened up my landscape base level. And of course, we don't see anything here yet because our landscape base level, we deleted out our floor, we deleted out a reflection uh, actor as well. This is all we have. We don't see anything yet. So this is a good time to review exactly how to get back to where we were in the previous video. Step number one is we want to make sure that we've got our levels tab down here. And if you don't have this, again, you can come under Windows and levels to check that on. And here in our levels tab, we can see that I've got grayed out this landscape X, Y, zero. This is the sub level that we created in the last video. That was our very first landscape level tile. Now, in order to actually view this here in our viewport, what I need to do is right click on this and load it in. And once that is loaded in, we now have a landscape tile. And we can see this tile over here in our World Composition tab. And the way you can access this World Composition tab if you don't have it open, is you can click right here on your Levels tab to summon your World Composition tab. And here we are in our World Composition tab, and now we get to the subject of this video, which is our World Composition interface. So, let's get right to it. Our controls here in our World Composition Interface, they're similar to our orthographic viewport controls. We've got the scroll wheel on your mouse, which will zoom you in and out, like I'm doing right now. Left click can select things, so I'm left clicking off of my actor, left clicking to select my one landscape level tile. I can left click and drag to bring out a marquee selection. So once we eventually have some more landscape level tiles out here, I can select multiples by left clicking and dragging. And then of course, if I right click, I can bring up a right click menu. Now, this right click menu is contextual based upon what you are right clicking on. So you just saw me right click off of this level tile and I only have one option here which is to lock the tiles location. That differs from if I right click on this level tile and I've got multiple options here. Okay, next let's talk about these different informational UI areas of our world composition tab. Area number one we're going to talk about is this area right here where it says uncategorized. We've got this plus button. This is a listing of our streaming layer names. In a few videos time, we're going to learn more about these, but that's what these are. Your streaming layer names. Area number two right here, this is our scale indicator. This is the length from end to end of this line right here to show how far that distance is in the world given our level of zoom here. You see that number changing as I zoom in and I zoom out. Shows it in kilometers right now. I will, uh, I'll come back to this in a little bit uh, of time here to demonstrate uh, something else. But you can see how that line indicates this distance in our world. So this amount of distance right here from end to end equals 2.18 kilometers in our world right now. Uh, section number three right here where it's got this X and Y and it shows these zero, zero. This is our world origin. It shows the current position of our world origin. We can actually shift that around if we want to. Section number four right up here. This lists the name of our current level, landscape base. If I jump on over to our levels tab, we've got our current level in blue right here, which is persistent level. That is our landscape base. You can see that currently it says in parentheses, um, our landscape base is the persistent level. If I was to right click on our landscape X, Y, zero, right click and make this current, now, if I jump over to the World Composition tab, you can see it changes this as well, right up here. This will show you the name of the current level. 
Uh, area number five down here, you got this little mouse icon as well as some numbers. That is going to show your mouse cursor position. This is your world position of your mouse cursor in the X and Y coordinates. Area number six down here, which you don't see any numbers just yet. If I left click and drag, that is going to show you the size of your marquee selection. Area number seven, this area right down in here, that is your world size. This is the size of your world calculated as the sum of all your level bounding boxes. Remember these actors right up here? What do you notice? Level bounding box, our current uh, world scale is 50,400, 50,400. That is reflected down here because we only have one level bounds actor because we've only got one level tile. All right, next I'm going to scroll wheel way on back here, and you're gonna notice that when I do this, you see this yellow box right here. That is your world bounds. That's how big you can make your world. And if I continue to zoom this out, I can also show how this reflects our little measurement tool right here. And I'm going to try to line that up just perfectly. There we go. So our world bounds here is actually 20 kilometers by 20 kilometers up and down. And this, is, again, it gives me a good chance to show off how this line right here shows our current scale given our level of zoom. So this is 20 kilometers by 20 kilometers. That is the size that our world is restricted to here. All right, next, let me zoom back in and let's demo how we can move a level, a sublevel here in world composition. So I've got one level tile right here. I can simply left click and drag it to move it to a different location. And you can see now in my viewport, it seems like it's gone away. When it really hasn't, I've just moved it to a new location way out yonder. And if I didn't want to move this level tile back manually, I could simply right click on this, choose reset level position, and it'll snap it right back to where it was. Now, if I zoom way out again, and I left click, and I'm gonna drag my level tile, it's very tiny here, outside of my yellow bounding box right here. I'm gonna move it way over here. If you do that, you can see how easy it is to kind of get lost here in your world composition. So if you were way zoomed up close, you're like, where is my level tile? So a way to avoid making any silly mistakes like that is I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to reset this level position back to where it was. And then I'm going to right click on this one more time. And I'm going to say I'm going to lock this tiles location. So now if I try to move it, I can't. All right there, guys. You have a quick overview of your world composition tab. That is going to do it all for this video. Let's get to creating some more level tiles in the next one. We'll see you there.